Now, while health officials continue wrapping their heads around just what exactly is going on with this pandemic, hospitals are still working to stand strong under the ever-increasing caseloads. With less than 500 treatment spaces and a crowded 250-square-meter ICU, the Laniato Hospital in central Israel's Netanya still manages to serve over half a million people from the nearby communities. But with the growing weight of such heavy responsibility, hospital officials are warning that their current model is simply unsustainable. But given the hospital's mission, staff are far from throwing in the towel. You see, originally created in 1976 as a maternity clinic, the Laniato Hospital is the physical embodiment of a vow between the late Sanz Hasidic rabbi Yekutiel Halberstam and God. Because after losing his wife and 11 children to the Holocaust, Halberstam, a.k.a. the Klausenberg rabbi, promised that should he himself survive, he'd open a hospital and save as many lives as humanly possible. Well, that's exactly what he did. And since then, the hospital has also extended its services to internal medicine, pediatrics, oncology, hematology, intensive care, and more. All Laniato needs now, especially in the face of the coronavirus pandemic, is to expand and support its struggling ICU. But they can't do it alone. With a projected price tag of 8 million shekels, the public nonprofit hospital is looking to quadruple its intensive care capacity from six beds to 24 while also adding living spaces for family visitations and meetings with doctors. So far, though, with the help of crowdfunding platforms, they've raised just half a million shekels, or one-sixteenth of the total cost. So what can we do? Well, the crowdfunding deadline is yet to expire. Laniato asking anyone and everyone who can to support their mission quick. And joining us now with more on the campaign to save Laniato Hospital's ICU and, by extension, the half a million people it services. I'm joined by head nurse in Laniato's General Intensive Care Unit, Lydia Langsner. Lydia, thanks so much for being with us. Now, how long have you worked at Laniato? I've been working Laniato since 1986, and I've been in the capacity of the head nurse of the ICU for the past 15 years. Uh, wow. So I'm assuming that you're very familiar with the with the you know the mission statement at Laniato, Laniato Hospital. You know, what makes it unique to you? It's a very unique uh, hospital. Uh, the Kloisenburger Rebbe, who created the hospital many, many years ago, wrote um, a kind of philosophy of care, which has been taking over almost all over the world, which is now called the, um, the way that people give care, respect the patient, respect the family, no matter who they are. Be the best you can, give the best quality you can, be very, very sensitive to family and patient needs, respect life, and do the utmost as far as professional work is concerned to save lives. All right, well, so I understand that to, to that end, Laniato is now, of course, uh, starting their campaign. You, it, it opened just ahead of the Hanukkah holidays, but you're asking, to, you're asking for fundraiser, to expand the ICU department by four times. You know, what can you tell me about this program? It's been long overdue. The Natania area is serving over half a million people. The needs of the community have grown tremendously. This ICU that counts six beds has been too small for many, many years. The coronavirus pandemic has shown us that we have the capability, we have the equipment, we have the know-how, we have the staff, we need more space. We need a better quality space for patients, for families. We need to be able to isolate and quarantine patients who are in need of quarantine. Right now, it is done because of the pandemic, but not in the condition that we feel are quality for patients and family. And this is what we're hoping to accomplish with this campaign. So can you expand a little bit more on why this fundraiser is relying so heavily on public support, though, when, when Laniato is a public nonprofit hospital? Well, nonprofit hospitals are rely on their service, on money that they're making from Kupot Cholim. And the HMO. For the yeah. service they're rendering, uh, very heavily on donation and on the community that they're servicing. The government will sometimes, but not often, 
bring in some money. Right now, the money is not coming in for the ICU, although the need is there. Little funds, a shekel a day is something that everybody can do for a miracle which is saving a life. All right, well, I, I wanna just say this to everybody watching at home. Anybody who can, if you find the link, you can find the link to the donation on ILTV's Facebook page below, and there are 48 hours left to donate. Look into your hearts, see what you can do to help achieve a true Hanukkah miracle. Lydia, thank you so much for being Absolutely. with us. Absolutely, Hanukkah Sameach to everyone, and good health.